In this lesson, we're going to look at the scale transformation function. Now, as you'd expect, scaling affects the dimensions of the element and all elements inside it. So let's open scale.html in the working files folder. And what we'll do is apply a new scaling transformation. Now, remember, you'll also need to add the WebKit prefix to support all browsers. But I'll keep the code simple from now on to illustrate the concepts. Now, a scale of 1 means that it's the same size as the original element. So 2 is twice the size and 0 0.5 is half the size. Now, we've used 1.5 here, so it should be 50% larger than the original. So let's make things a little more interesting. We can actually define two parameters. Now the first affects the horizontal scale, and the second affects the vertical scale. Now this results in an element which is 50% wider, but only 75% of the original's height. Now like before, we can also use scale x or scale y if we just want to change one dimension. So that's quite impressive so far, but we can go much further and apply negative dimensions. Now this is probably best illustrated with an example. Now a negative scale makes a mirror image. So in this code, we've kept the horizontal dimension at 1, but made the vertical dimension minus 1, which results in a reflection at the same scale. If we change it to minus 0.3, you'll see that the box is still reflected, but it's now a third of the height. So as you can see, transformations are starting to become very powerful. 